I'm a big fan of LinkedIn. I know many of you probably haven't looked at this since the last time you looked for work. So my job is to convince you that this is a powerful business relationship building tool for you. 84% of all Americans have a LinkedIn profile. Of that 84%, probably only about 5% of those profiles are any good. And a fewer number are actually using LinkedIn to develop business relationships. So I wanna share with you some of the things that I've seen that have worked really well on this platform. Um, using myself as a guinea pig, I don't have a huge network, a little bit more than 1,000 people. It's not adding in every person I ever meet, it's adding people in I know, like, and trust, and accepting invitations to connect with people I know, like, and trust. What's powerful about LinkedIn is how it connects you with the world and how you can leverage those connections over time. So in my first degree, I know a little bit over 1,000 people, but my 1,000 people know over a million people, 1.2 million to be exact. And that's really where you can get some serious business lift out of using this platform. So the key is if you are gonna start using LinkedIn, and maybe it's something you've just looked at when you were job seeking, is start adding a network of integrity, people who you know, like, and trust. So clearly, if you know, like, and trust somebody, you're not gonna send them, I'd like to add you to my professional network on LinkedIn, an email that I know everyone in this room has gotten at least once in the last week. No, take some time to personalize your invitation. So don't use your smartphone to connect with anyone on LinkedIn because they automatically pop in that default language. Use your desktop, your laptop, and send a personal note, noting how you're connected to them in the real world. This is a Rotary friend of mine, and I sent him a personal request saying, hey, great seeing you at Rotary. I'm surprised we're not connected here. Uh, just wanted to connect on LinkedIn. It doesn't take a lot of time, but it values the relationship. When you send an I'd like to add you to my professional network email, that's like dear occupant that junk mail that we get. It doesn't value the relationship. So take some time to build your network and take some time to actually think strategically about your profile. So LinkedIn gives you an opportunity to have a summary statement. You don't need a paid profile to do this. Very few summary statements are very good. In fact, most people don't even have one. A good summary statement has three essential ingredients. It, it, sh it, it shares how you help your clients, why you enjoy what you do, and lastly, why you like your company. Why is Guild or your real estate company so awesome? What makes you different from others in the marketplace? That's simple. So the reason why this is important is when people are looking for connections, looking for loan officers, looking for realtors, they're going out to their network and they're probably getting referrals to three or four different loan officers, three or four different realtors. And if you have a summary statement that connects with them in a human way, you are head and shoulders above your competition that simply has ignored this part of their mix. This is a very easy way to differentiate yourself from the competition. The good news is I think in the mortgage world, in the real estate world, the bar is low. I think there are a lot of poor summary statements and there are a lot of inexistent summary statements. It doesn't take a lot of time to do this, but it will have a huge payoff for you.